Hey guys, it's me, Brian, and uh, sorry it's been so long, but I got a haul for y'all today, and um, what could turn into, um, not necessarily a rant, but just something I want to talk about, uh, I'll go ahead and get the haul out of the way first. Well, you know what, I'm going to do a... A review first actually um, a while back probably several months ago now <clears throat> I um, went by my local comic shop New Force Comics in Panama City Florida and uh, I picked this book up um, not really uh, expecting much of anything uh, just wanted to read the character um, really didn't know what to expect uh, but I picked up um, JLA and the Spectre um, Soul War that's a two uh, <clears throat> issue story um, they're prestige format uh, I don't know if they have them in a collected trade form or not um, I guess you can kind of call these trades. I don't know. Um, anyway, they're prestige format. Uh, um, I did pay that price, but you know, I get a discount at my shop, so it might have been a little cheaper. Um, this, believe it or not, is one of the best stories I have read in a really, really, really long time. Um, for one thing I wasn't expecting and I'm not going to give anything away but I wasn't ex I knew nothing about the Spectre and to, to find out you know who the Spectre is really blew my mind and uh I just couldn't believe it, you know. Uh, there's this whole story about being confident in yourself and finding the faith in yourself and not only you, but, you know, God. You know, there goes God, you know, gave Spectre his abilities. And being okay with not being the one who could do something. You know, there's always going to be somebody who could do whatever it is that you do better. I mean, like, everybody else who does comic book reviews on YouTube is a whole lot better than I am. And I'm okay with that. And uh, that's what part of the rant's going to be about. Or not rant, but just something I want to get off my chest about later. But... You know, there's a whole you know underlying thing that I was talking about where um overcoming self doubt and having faith in yourself and having faith in others and God or you know but not giving in to the darker side that everybody has and so it, it it really truly is um an onion that you can peel back multiple layers uh if you choose to do so uh highly recommend soul war uh pick it up um it's worth the ten dollars i paid definitely so highly 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 recommend highly recommend Let's see. And then I stopped by. Let's just set these over here. Stop by Second and Charles. Um, 
And this is pretty much going to be a, a DC haul. Uh, I stopped by second in Charles. And I'm a huge fan of Green Lantern. Um, I'm just on a Green Lantern kick right now. And I'm flipping through. And I, I never was interested in the story. But I found the first issue, you know, and I thought, well, why not? You know, give it a shot, especially since it was only like a dollar ninety five a second in Charles. And uh at Star Trek and Green Lantern, uh I actually found a, a variant cover. This is the BAM box cover that you can only get out of the BAM subscription boxes. Which I also found was going for around twelve to twenty dollars on eBay. So that was a cool find to find for $1.95. I was amazed that I found that. Um, and this is a character I've never read, but I'm a huge fan of the character, uh, especially on the Arrow TV show. So I've I seen a, a nice chunk of this run there, and I decided to get it. Um, this is the Volume 2 run of Ragman there's issue 2 they didn't have issue 1 3 I think I put these in order before I started the video Four. That's a cool cover. Five. Six. Seven. And uh, I thought I had one more, but I guess not. Um, so I'm missing issues one and eight, I think, and I'll have that, um, uh, Volume 2 complete. Um, <clears throat> might need to start working on Volume 1 now. But, um, I also picked up, um, I want to try to read more of the big, um, stories in comics. Because, uh, you know, if you don't read the big stories and you're not a comic book fan, you know how that goes. Um, so, I was at Sega and Charles, and I was flipping through the trade section, and I come across this, and I was wondering why it was so cheap, you know, especially, um, compared to the, the trade format version of it, and I didn't realize till I got home, but this is, a uh, Batman Hush hardcover, um, volume one, I didn't realize it was a volume one. I should have, but I didn't, you know. Um, this was $9.95. Uh, the trade was $19.95. That should have, you know, rung a bell, but it didn't. And so now I'm on the, <clears throat> so now I'm on the lookout for volume two. Um. I think I might have found a good copy, um, but if anybody out there, you know, wants to hook a brother up, I'm all for that too, but, uh, for $10, I wasn't passing this hardcover up, especially for the $20, uh, cover price, yeah, that's not that bad, um, 
like I mentioned before, I'm on a huge Green Lantern kick right now. Um, and I passed on this story when Rebirth came out. Um, I was hooked on Green Lanterns. Uh, I liked the the um, the connection between uh, Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz. Uh, I think they work well together. Um, I think I'm only on like issue twelve or thirteen, but I have up to seventeen, so I got some reading to do on that series. But I I passed on a. Uh, how Jordan and the Green Lantern's rebirth story. So I decided to pick that up and trade. Um I don't know how much I don't know how good it's gonna be. I don't I don't know anything other than what I don't know anything that's going on with how Jordan other than um you know what happened in the, the original rebirth story. Uh, so yeah, that should be fun. Uh, but it's Green Lantern, so I'm going to love it anyway, regardless. But at the same time, I realized that I had no good foundation of Green Lanterns, of, you know, the Green Lantern character. And I was searching, you know, and, and I wanted to read, you know, um, Blackest Night and Brightest Day. But that's, you know, like a huge defining story in the Green Lantern universe. And not knowing where to start with the story, you know, I didn't want to pick up, you know, one part and then it not be the right one. Um, and I didn't have time to to check before I left to which one was which and uh so I got on uh Amazon which is where I got uh, How Jordan and the Green Lantern trade and uh I come across this and uh it's the Green Lanterns or Green Lantern Celebration the 75 years hardcover um it has a forty dollar price tag, but Amazon had it for twenty five. Um, I thought I would say what all kind of stories I had, but it has all the important uh, stuff about like the first appearances of the characters and all. It's kind of messed up that it don't have what it collects on the on the back cover. Uh, I, I found it what it collected on the Amazon website so uh, you could just check there uh, I may go ahead and put this in the um, description of the video that way uh, you can find it easier so yeah there's that I'm so excited to have this book uh, so pumped it's still sealed I was waiting to to do this video before I read it but a uh, huge thick book I think it's like 400 plus pages 404 or 440 something like that uh, for $25 is not bad so yeah totally pumped to get that And believe it or not, guys, I actually have a toy. I bought a toy. Um, I'm not a huge toy fan, uh, especially since I'm older. And uh, But I'm a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles. And you probably already know what this is going to be. But I've been looking for this everywhere since I first heard about them couldn't find it they were sold out in my area I wasn't <clears throat> I wasn't gonna pay the eBay prices for them um, it's just not worth it in my opinion 
if you did that, you know, that's fine, but I wasn't going to do it. But I finally found one. I'm so stoked to have this. I finally got my Sting Raphael. I'm so pumped for this. My favorite all time, all time favorite wrestler as a Ninja Turtle. You know, you couldn't ask for anything better. I was actually fortunate enough to see him wrestle Ric Flair at the last Nitro. Such, such a fun night that night. Uh, I wish I could have met him personally. Um, but he was one of them type of people that when he got done wrestling, he just got in his vehicle and left. And, um, but I did get to meet uh, Lex Luger and Buff Bagwell. Uh, met Rey Mysterio. I'm getting off track. Okay, story time, all right, <laughs> this year, in the last year, I started really getting into my photography, and since I got my Panasonic G7, I've kind of gotten to this mindset where, you know, I got a good camera, you know, you need good lenses and all this other stuff, and yeah, even though it's a passion, you know, when you have multiple, you can't let other passions dominate one over the other, or they're going to start lacking, which is one of the main reasons why um, it's taken me so long to do videos, is because I've been buying lenses and accessories and more for like portrait stuff and you know stuff like uh portrait work and um longer telephoto <laughs> this is what i was trying to think of um you know stuff to take like far off shots of mountains and waterfalls and your not long range but longer range portraits you know uh where you ain't got to be like right up their nose to take their um, portraits. And that's really um, taken away from my gaming or from comics, you know. And you don't need a lot of equipment or, you know, the most outrageous equipment. You know, there's lens that could buy a car you know if you have the money and you could benefit from that for your job then that's fine but if you're like me you know just getting started or just a youtuber in general you do not need all this stuff to tell your story uh, it doesn't matter how good your camera is if you don't make the video. So just get the video or get get your camera, make the video. Just go ahead and do it. You know, it's it may not be the best like this video, you know, but at least your story is going to be told. You could have... A red camera, red company, a black magic camera, or you can have a cell phone that's 10 years old. It doesn't matter what you use. And that's one thing that God's really been, you know, dealing with me about the last couple of weeks. I don't know if. You know, if it's my 30th birthday coming up next month or or what. But um, I've always had the mentality of got to have the best. If it's not the best, then there's no point in having it. So you don't have to have the biggest, the best, the, you know, the grandest stuff to 
be successful just because if you don't make the video then you're not going to be successful anyway so just put yourself out there make the video just do it so this is me doing that uh, with the G7 the kit lens and my new microphone I just got yesterday the Comica uh, VC30 something like that I don't have the box around me right now it, I'll put that in the description too so you can see it or follow me on Twitter um, at the woman CP uh, I posted a picture of it yesterday um, so yeah that is my setup and that is what I'm staring at right now um, but yeah guys you don't need to go crazy like I did just get your phone make your video it'll be fine and with that guys I will talk at y'all later Love y'all. God bless.